Hello, I'm Wei Zhang. Today I'm going to teach you how to calculate simple steel trust. Uh, normally we have an assumption all the members will be concentric to the center of the members in order not to have an additional moment or additional force induced due to additional forces. And then this is a so you a member is a, in a tension and normally for the trust if we have a the height is higher this means the reaction force for the top cord or the bottom cord will be lower this is a simple example for example we have a fixed movement is assumed that it's 1000 for example if the height of the truss is only one meter that means the bottom cord need to take 1000 kilonewton on another case if we have the truss with a four meter and then you can see the resultants. The force is only 250. That means if you have the trust with higher level, that means the member size should be smaller. This is the common phenomenon you can see uh, over the world. And this is so you how to define the member is in tension. For example, this is the member in tension, they will point it outward. And if the forces is pointing inward, they will call it this is compression. In other cases, when we consider the drawn, that means if the force is taking out from point B, we call tension. If the force is pointing to the drawn B, this is a compression. That means don't confuse the direction of the size. Otherwise, you will make mistake doing the calculation. And then you need to understand three simple steps first. For example, if we have a downward forces, tension will be 100% occur in the bottom of the members. That means the top cord or top member should be in compression. And the second step is, if you remember, the structure should be in equilibrium. For example, we have a tension force. The other members should be in compression. That means you can easily assume whether the member is compression or tension if we see some case like this. Another case is if we have a tension force directly applied and then all the members connected should be the same direction. For example, this is a tension force. All the tension will be pointing downward and all in tension. And then Based on this simple structure, the first one, if we understand the step one, all the forces should be in tension and in compression in the top core. And the second step, if we understand this is in tension, this member should be in compression. And we follow the final step. This member is in tension. We also found this is a tension and tension. And then you only use one minute. You can assume and easily find out whether the member is in tension or in compression. And this is another example I want to uh, teach you how to calculate. But before that, you need to understand how to find out whether this is tension or compression. For example, if we see the diagram like this, the first step you need to understand all the bottom cord should be in tension and the top cord should be in uh, compression and then for the second step you need to remember if this is tension other member is also compression same figure we apply in opposite direction and then for the first step we understand this is a pointing outward this is in tension and then members adjacent or just connect directly to this member also in tension but remember this member we cannot determine by this three simple step because you can see this is uh, in tension and this is in compression and then we be soft to the central point this may be we call redundancy that's why this member if we want to find out the whether it is compression or tension we need to calculate okay and before we try to start the calculation, just uh, we let you remember the simple step. For example, if we have a component like this, 
and then we we solve horizontally. This is a cosine theta, and then we can find out the value forty five point nine newton. And then if we want to find the vertical forces, that means this is in side forty, and then we can find out the result is thirty eight point four. And then if you remember the theory is uh, pointing upward is pointing to the downward. We can easily find out the result B like this. This is just a revision. And if you also remember summing all the forces in X direction, they are, will be equilibrium. Every member should equal point to the left and equal to point to the right. And this is also the revision for the anti core one equal to core y. And then we start to calculate the uh, the trust forces. I just introduce some uh, members, and then if you want to find out the remaining member, we, you just do it by yourself. Okay. The first step, we try to take moment in here, and then, for example, our C is moving, is moving clockwise. That means our C multiple nine is a total moment in clockwise direction, and then. If we pointing to the support F, and then the reaction force is a 60, and then the distance is 6, and then this is an anti one. That means 60 multiple 6, and then equal to RC multiple 9, and then we can find out RC is equal to 40. Okay, and then we use the another step is a pointing up is equal to pointing down, and then you can see it's only two forces you point into the upper RC and RF and then point into the number is only 60 and then we can find out RF is 20 for example if we just have a 40 uh, forces in this direction we try to draw diagram like this and we want to try to find out the members forces of FAC okay the first step you need to understand is uh, you need to assume the theta first and then we do the same is a resolve component to the y direction it's mean equal to f a c psi theta and then you can using the theory of pointing upward equal to pointing downward and then you can easily find out the result like this and then remember psi theta is equal to 4 divided by 5 okay and then we can find out the result but you can see interesting, this is a negative value. This means this member, the direction should be reversed. If the result is positive, this means your assumption for the direction should be correct. If this is a negative, this means the final step you need to understand this member is pointing down. This should be in compassion. Okay? And we try to find out the member of FCD and we do the same. Okay, first we need to resolve the component of FAC to the x direction. That means this is a cosine theta. And then you can see pointing to the right only have two forces FCD and FAC cosine theta. But there's no forces pointing to the left, that means it should be equal to zero. And we found before is a FAC is a negative minus 50 and cosine theta is 3 divided by 5 and then we can find out the result is FCD is equal to 30 is a positive value that means this is the direction I assume is correct and then this is a tension forces we apply the same principles we now assume this is theta and then we come across is a cosine theta and then we can do the same is uh, we can find out this is also the member is in tension and then you can verify our assumption is uh, if we apply the forces the member next to it is also in tension and we do the same for the uh, resolve component and this is also so you this is an uh, intention okay and then this is also in tension forces this is also in tension forces and this is a if we remember all bottom is a tension and then this must be in compassion okay this is verify all the assumptions we make oh thank you